Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So I'm back with another Laravel tutorial that is advanced form validation I'm going to show you today. So I've already created one video on form validation in Laravel. So you can go to my previous video and you can watch if you want to start from basic. So I'll be continuing from that video. You can also uh, start with this video if you are having a basic knowledge of Laravel. So let's get started. So let me show you view. So I have created this view in my previous video. So here you can see I'm having name, email, phone number and image. So now let me show you code now. So in web.php you can see my base URL is going to contact controller and its index function. So in index function I am just loading my view that is contact. So let's go to contact blade.php. You can find it in resources view folder. So in view you can see I have loaded bootstrap and after that you can see I am having one form. In form you can see I have given id contact form, method post, after that end type that is multipart because image is there. After that on submit is there. After that CSRF token and then you can see input fields. First one is name, after that input email, input phone and last is image. At the last you can see some bootstrap scripts is included and ajax is written there that is on submit function is called here in script you can see this uh, submit contact form and here you can see i am just preventing default that page will not refresh after that i am getting form data with id contact form at zero index i will be getting data after that i am creating form data and then i am calling my ajax so in ajax you can see i'm having method post and url url you can see it's going to save contact form after that data so data is a uh, pass contact form data after that processing data and content type is false because we are sending image through ajax so for that we need it to be false so now in backend let's go that save contact form is going to contact controller save function store function so let me delete here and show you what we are getting in our request so write request all and now let's go and check in browser so now let me quickly fill up the form so write name kt email kt at the rate gmail.com and phone number let's say one two three any random number i'm just writing upload one image and submit in network go to response here you can see that i'm having all csr token and all my input fields so now let's start the validations let's go to code and let's open terminal in terminal i'm going to create a request file through command so in request file i'll be doing my validations so write php artisan make request and let's uh, give contact request name of the file so this file will be created in your http folder there will be a request folder that will be created and inside that you can find your contact request file so in request file by default you can see i'm having two functions first one is authorize and second one is rule so first one is authorize you can use for like permission if you are having in your system like if that user can access this function or not like that you can write it here i'm just going to change it to true as i'm not showing you any role based here so by default i'm just passing true here and in rules we will be defining our validation rules like required any form fields now i have created this file but how i'm going to connect this with my form function so i'm going to pass this in place of request so now let's write rules so first one is input name so i'm just going to write required for now so now after that input email so get that i'm just passing required for that as well so let me just firstly show you required for every field so after that write input phone input image after that so i'm just passing required for everyone so now after creating validation let's pass this validation in our store function so instead of request pass here contact request and include this as well i'm just importing class so this will be included in top of it that with its 
namespace. So now let's check in browser, submit. Oh, well, actually, every field is having already input. So let's just refresh and now submit. So in network, you can see the response. Now you can see I'm having all the errors. Input name is required, email is required. So now let's display these errors. And before that, let's get these errors in our Ajax. So here, so in Ajax, you can see success is already handled, but I need to handle error as well. So for that write error, it will be a function only. Inside that get errors, so let me just console it and show it to you that how we will be getting errors. So let's check in browser, refresh and click on submit. So here you can see we are getting and in console you can see in response JSON we will be getting our errors. Inside that also there is error object and inside that I'm having all my four errors. So now let's get these errors in our code. So in error, so write Let's say error dot response json dot errors. So now let's hold this in a variable. Let's say where form error. So now we got our errors. We need to display this in a div. So I have created div with id let's say form error. So I'll be using this div to display my errors. So write dollar inside that pass that hash id. That is form errors and in that write html. So I'm just passing blank right now. So for passing this, create one variable, let's say var string as a blank. And now I'm having form errors. So I need to display that in a ul or li. So here start uli and after that in string end this uli. So now write for loop inside that write error in form error is just like I'm starting a loop for errors so here uh, concat to string variable so it will be li and inside that i'm going to pass my errors so that will be form error and pass as array key that is error at zero index we will be having error and now this pass this string variable in form errors div let me just check once so I need to add var to error and at the end ul I need to concat it. Now let's check in browser refresh submit and here you can see we are having our form errors. So but these are not in uh, red color so let's just pass one class to our dev. Let's say text danger that's a bootstrap class. Now again refresh and submit. Now you can see errors are in red color. So that's how you can validate your form. So in this video I have shown you how to create a request file and validate in that. So in my next video I will be showing you how to display error with individual input fields and how to customize the error message. So that's all in this video. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.